In this video, we're going to quickly fine tune a DeepSeq R1 using a free Google Colab. This fine tuning can be done for the original DeepSeq R1 model, or in this model, we're going to specifically use a DeepSeq R1 Distill Llama 8 billion model. But again, this can be applied to any of these models of your liking. So this video will be broken down into six different sections. We're going to install the packages, download the model, prepare our data set in a specific way, train the model with a given training arguments and we're going to train and save and show you guys how to do inferencing and also how to save the model for VLLM compatibility. So let's get into it. Okay, here we have a Go Colab instance with a T4 GPU. I believe this is a free GPU they can access with Go Colab. So which means to train a model like DeepSeq R1, you don't need to spend any money at all, which is amazing. Now, first thing you guys have to do is install the Unsloth packages and reinstall Unsloth over here. After that, you will have to log into your Hugging Face Hub using your HF token, which can be found in their settings directory. Now, after we've done that, we're gonna start loading our model. So first thing we will do is import the fast language model package from Unsloth. We're gonna define these specific settings for max sequence length, D-type and loading 4-bit to true. And then we are going to load our model. And to load our model, we're going to follow the same pattern that we typically do with Hugging Face. We're going to do model tokenizer. And instead of the auto model from Hugging Face, we can use fast language model from pre-trained. Here we pass in DeepSeq AI, R1, Distill Llama 8 billion. Now this can be used with any R1 version of DeepSeq's model. It can be the entire 600 billion parameter model. I'm not sure exactly how many billion parameters they have. You can use the Quen 2.5 distilled version of it. But in this case, we're using the good old Llama 8 billion R1 distilled. And we're going to pass in the settings that we defined over here with the HF token to be able to get access to that model. So let's load that. Again, I think it's a blessing that we get to fine tune a model like DeepSeek distilled version with a free Colab GPU. I think we're truly living in amazing times. Now that the model has been loaded, we have to define the LoRa target modules for our model. Now, the reason why we do this is essentially because fine tuning a model that is 7 billion or 8 billion in size can take, can be very compute intensive. Now to alleviate the pain, not to blast our free GPU with a lot of parameters, we can specifically target modules that we want to fine tune. This will not only give us a really good performance once we fine tune it, but also require less GPU, which is very cost efficient. So over here, we pass the model, we set the target modules, we set LoRa Alpha, Dropout, and other configurations, and then we're good to go. So now we come to the stage of loading and formatting the dataset. Now to do that, we have a training prompt style. This specific prompt style can be adjusted for your specific domain. As long as you try to specifically say the model to have chain of thought to ensure a logical and accurate response, and you pass in the, and you format your dataset, with these tags like question, response, and think tags, which will be better for the model while fine tuning it. Now we're gonna map every single data point that we have in our data set with this training prompt style. The first thing that we're going to do is we are going to load our EOS token from the tokenizer, and we can define a function that's gonna format each of our data points from my data set using this prompt style. That's exactly what this function is doing. Now we load a data set and map this function to each of our data points. Now from the data sets, now from the data sets package, we're going to load the medical O1 reasoning supervised fine tuning data set with around hundred data samples, because I want to keep this demo short. And we're going to use a function called dataset.map that's going to map our function with the data set that we have. This should take only a few minutes. Now to inspect one of our data points or newly modified data points, we can see that the think tags are there with the question tags, making sure it's appropriately formatted. Now, for the fun part, setting up training arguments so we can finally train our model. So how do we do that? Yes, first things first, we are going to import our packages. This is the SFTD trainer or supervised fine tuning trainer from TRL, Transformers to Inform Learning. We're gonna load the transformer, sorry, training arguments from Transformers and is bflow16 from unsloth and after that we're going to set up our trainer which is going to hold the model the tokenizer the data set that we created the text field which is the column name 
max sequence length, if you guys remember, we defined it earlier in the video, and dataset numproc2. I believe this is for parallel processing. And then now we have to set up our training arguments. So these are the training arguments over here. We have per device train batch, so batch sizes, gradient accumulation, warm up steps, max steps, learning rate. Now these parameters over here is what you typically use to experiment with and see which one performs best for your specific data set. Now this requires you to do multiple iterations of your fine tuning to be able to find the sweet spot. And once you do, make sure to report it somewhere so you can actually assess the performance of your model over time. And to do that, you typically would use a weights and biases or other logging hubs. Now over here, I did none over here because I don't want to use weights and biases. So if you guys are experimenting with it, with many different parameters and settings, make sure you guys do that. And we're gonna close the bracket. Now that the training arguments has been set, we can finally fine tune our model. So simply, all you have to do is write trainer start or any variable equals to trainer dot train. And then we just sit back and relax for now at least. Now the model is finally fine tuned. Now we can see how we can actually test this model. So to do that, we have to define a prompt style like this with question and response and to explicitly define general thought reasoning through this prompt style. Now, simply we can just ask a question. A 61 year old woman with long history involuntary urine loss during activities like coughing or sneezing but no leakage at night, blah, 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 blah. Okay, how will this model answer it? So what we do is we load our model. We pass in the inputs using a tokenizer to tokenize our question. And we pass it into the model to get the outputs, which then we can decode and print out the response like so. And here we go. Here we have the final output showing the thinking process of the model and then giving you a final answer. Now, after that, here I have posted or pasted in the code for saving the model for VLLM, for 16-bit, 4-bit, or just the lower adapters. Now, this will allow you to deploy the model using VLLM or serve the model using VLLM package for easy deployment. Again, I will leave the link to this Colab notebook in the description down below. All right, guys, I hope you found this video insightful. If you guys did, please free subscribe. I make similar videos like these. All right, guys, I hope to see you in my next video. Have a nice day.